Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the uh, blood clotting or how does the blood um, clot. When the uh, blood vessel is cut down, so bleeding takes place. If this bleeding continues, it may lead to shock which leads to death. So the blood carries out this clotting to prevent the bleeding. When the blood is or when the blood vessel is cut down, the blood platelets plus the destroyed cells from the walls of the vessel produce a proteinic substance which is called rompo plastin this rompo plastin with the calcium ions found in the blood and the clotting factors inside the blood vessels activates the prothrombin into thrombin. The prothrombin is an inactive enzyme produced in the liver by the help of vitamin K and then is put directly into the blood stream. And as it is inactive enzyme, it needs a certain substance to activate it. So this substance is the thromboplastin. So, the thromboplastin activates the prothrombin into thrombin or converts the inactive prothrombin into active thrombin. And as a thrombin is an active enzyme, it activates the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin and also the fibrinogen is an insoluble uh, proteinic substance found in the blood so the uh, fibrin uh, makes interlacing or makes microscopic interlacing fibers inside the blood vessels which prevent the uh, blood clotting and closes the passageway of the blood outside the blood vessel and this is how the blood clot. When the vessel is cut, the blood platelets, together with the destroyed cells of the vessel, form a proteinic substance called the thromboplastin. The thromboplastin, together with the um, calcium ions and the blood clotting factors, the three of them activate the, pro the prothrombin into active thrombin, which is an active enzyme. Um, performs its function by transforming the fibrinogen into fibrin that makes fibers that prevents the blood from bleeding. Now re remains a question, uh, why doesn't the blood clot during, the, uh, during its passage through the blood vessels? Why does it only clot when it's exposed to the uh, blood tearing or a cut or a wand or so on. Uh, the blood doesn't clot as it um, passes through the blood vessels in a normal fashion as from the first it needs the destroyed cells from the vessels walls in order to perform or to make thromboplastin. Also, as the liver produces the prothrombin by the help of vitamin K as we have just mentioned, it produces also another 
enzyme, which is called heparin. This heparin prevents the conversion of crude thrombin into thrombin, so long as the, thromp the thromboplastin is not available. So when the thromboplastin is produced, heparin's function stops. And when the thromboplastin is not available, heparin works by preventing the prothrombin from converting into thrombin and thus preventing the blood clotting. Uh, this is it for the day. The next time we will have a short account on the lymphatic system. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.